Highland Hill Farm presents. My name is Mike. I'm at Highland Hill Farm. We're at the cut your own tree section of the farm. And you can see this is some of our fields that we had and some of the trees are just getting a little too big and are getting too close to one another. So we'll go through and we'll cut out every other one or we'll cut out the ones that are too close to each other and try to get some nice looking ones growing up. But sometimes the trees are so close and there's too many of them and we can't do that. And that's what happens on this side. And we went through this whole field and we thought they were too close and if we would take them out that we would not be able to get them to come back to be nice looking trees. So. We're going to cut them all out. We're going to take out these stumps. That after we get them all wood chipped, then we'll go through and take the stumps out. And that's going to be that's going to be a lot of work to get that out. But we'll get those guys out. And after we get done with that, then we'll be ready for the springtime. When spring comes and good planting weather arrives, we'll grow till this and we'll put new little baby trees in. Now, how many trees are you going to put in this field? <laughs> we're going to put we're going to put a lot of trees in here. We're going to okay. A lot. <laughs> and what kind of spacing do you think you'll use for these? Okay, well, we're not going to do the grid pattern anymore. What we're going to do is we're going to do row runs, and we're going to have the rows where each tree we're going to put the trees in at about five to six foot apart, but the rows are going to be seven foot apart. So there's going to be more space between each tree than the five by five right now at its existing. It won't matter when they're small and having on 5x5, five five, but when they get big, like these, those big ones over there, the 5x5 five five is just too close. If we had it by 6x7 by or 7x5, it'd still be a lot better than having it like that. So. And what type of tree are you going to plant in this field and why? This one's going to be planted with Norway spruce. The reason that we chose Norway spruce is that it's in a little bit of a wet spot and it's a little close to the, to the woods. And we're thinking that since it's wet and it's going to be shaded a little bit more than if it's out in the center of the field, that the Norway can tolerate the wetness the best, so it should have the best results here. But on other parts of the farm, we'll try to be putting some other things, like maybe some pines and some balsams and some canons and things like that. But this is definitely going to be Norway. Okay, well, thank you very much, Mike. And uh, what kind of trees were out in this field right now? Well, this was Norway. And the Norways did very, very well here. So you're pretty much assured that the Norways will do well here. Yeah, again. I'm, I'm positive of that. Now, are you going to subsoil this when we plant this time or no? Well, to be honest, we're not going to be digging these guys out, so there's no real reason to subsoil. If we were going to dig them out, then yeah, we would definitely subsoil so we get the roots down deeper in the ground. But It won't be necessary to yeah. subsoil. I don't think so. And these are going to be just for cut trees. They're going to be just for cut trees. Yep. Okay, well, thank you very much. Give us a call at Highland Hill Farm for your trees and shrubs, 215-651-8329. We ship from Fountainville, PA, Milan, PA, Lenore, North Carolina, and McNinville, Tennessee. Thank you. If you like the barter, bring your barter to Highland Hill Farm. Here's some of the items that we're currently looking to barter for. Don't forget the comments section right below this video. Just click on the comments and leave your answers. Thank you and please don't forget to click the red subscribe button below this video so you can get the latest updates from Highland Hill Farm. Hi, I'm Marge and you're at Highlands Hill Farm. Today I'm standing beside a tulip poplar tree. This is a Native American tree, fast growing, considered one of the tallest trees in the forest canopy. This tree will grow in excess of 100 feet. It's a good grower, it's a fast grower, and it has a strong trunk system that it Many times fast growing trees are a weak tree and this is not. You'll not have problems with this tree in your yard. Good grower, tolerant. In the springtime, the tulip poplar gets a flower on it that looks a lot like a red tulip. Way at the top of the tree, very striking, outstanding flower, and it's used by the bees. 
honey producers are thrilled to see rows of poplar trees. The bees will make a dark honey that is preferred by people who bake. Bakers love the honey from the tulip poplar tree. So if you're looking for a tree that will give you shade, canopy, and be a good tree for the environment, think tulip poplar. Man, you can do it. I'm going to start BS exposure again, except it's going to be POBS exposure. Public official bullshit exposure coming soon on your video web. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Browning five shot buckshot emitter. Here at Highland Hill Farm we use this all the time. This this gun has done in one load of deer. In Bucks County we're only allowed to use shotgun for, for crop control. Well this gun has done its duty. This gun has killed more deer than most people ever see in their life. In Highland Hill Farm we have a lot of deer. We're right up next to Peace Valley Park and there's probably right now in that park about a thousand deer within a within a couple square miles of here there's quite a few deer and this gun has taken its toll on them in fact I sometimes buy buckshot by the case to give you an idea yeah we use it a lot and uh, one of the things I like about it is it puts the lead out I never have cleaned it since the time I owned it and it's shot a lot of shells. It never jams. It just keeps on clicking. And the deer keep on dying when they, they meet up with this, this old boy. So uh, if you have any questions about a browning, or if you want to comment about your experiences with shotguns, you tell me which shotgun you think is better. And I'll tell you, I, I rate this one pretty hard or high up on the list. I also have taken this out to South Dakota and Montana on uh, pheasant hunts and it does real good on pheasants and uh, it also stops trespassers I've done that a couple times too and uh, so I owe this gun a lot and I, I really like this gun and uh, if you have any you want to get rid of bring them here to Highland Hill Farm and I'll either buy them or I'll trade them for trees and shrubs we raise lots and lots of trees and shrubs and I would like to get a couple more of these old go boys because uh, I do like to collect them. So give me a call if you have any you want to trade or barter for. Uh, this is Bill at Highland Hill Farm. I collect this gun and this type. So give me a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. At Highland Hill Farm, we have a lot of different kinds of trees for you. We have both deciduous and evergreen. Some of the spruces that we have are like Colorado Bruce spruce, Norway spruce, white spruce, Serbian, Black Hill spruce, black spruce. We also have some firs, such as Fraser, Balsam, Douglas, and Concolor. Most of these are in seedling or transplants. We do have larger trees, such as white pine, Norway spruce. We also sell a whole range of arborvitas in many different sizes, from transplants up to large trees. The trees that we sell are both bare root and bulb and burlap and potted. We have thousands of them that we grow. We also have southwestern white pine, and we are noted for our green giant arborvitas and Leland cypresses. We also have hemlocks up to 10 to 12 foot high along with redwoods. We can also supply you with some bald cypress, larch, eastern red cedar, 
In the way of shrubs, we have arrowwood viburnums, bayberry, black hole viburnums, a whole range of viburnums, dogwoods, red, twig, silky dogwoods, elderberries. We also have forsythia, common lilacs, Japanese lilacs, peking lilacs. We also have nanaberry, nine bark, and things such as Russian olive, which some people think are is invasive. But we do sell a wide range of trees and shrubs, including winterberry holly. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 as we do deliver and we deliver and plant.